Today, get into grips with credit regulation. Hello, I'm Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. Welcome to our latest post. And today, we've got a really special start of a new series looking at credit and credit regulation. And to help me, I have Professor Jill North. Hello, Jill. Hello, very nice to be here today. Good to see you. And I guess we should just come clean here. Firstly, you are one of the uh, principals at Digital Finance Analytics. That's right. Um, you're also a professor. And you're also my wife, so congratulations on that. <laughs> yes, I have a unique background in that sense. <laughs> well, I think it, a good background's a good place to start, right? Because you've got a really interesting perspective on all of this stuff that's been going on around lending and around credit. So why don't you paint a bit of a picture about your background and how come you've got to where you've got to on this? All right, today I, uh, I'm a professor of law at the Deakin University. Um, but in my prior life, or prior to becoming an academic, I worked in business. And when I started in business, I was a chartered accountant. Then I uh, did uh, a separate series of qualifications uh, that, that led me to becoming um, a chartered financial analyst. So I have a background in finance and business, uh, but later in life I also did law, uh, completing a doctorate in law at the University of New South Wales in 2011. Following that, uh, I became an academic and eventually became a professor of law today. Okay, so what's unique about that is you've got the legal piece, you've got the financial piece, and you've got the analytics piece. Yes, right? that's right. And that's a relatively unusual set of combinations to be able to perhaps bring some different insight to bear. Yes, well, as a finance person, I worked overseas as well. So my experience is not just in Australia. I've worked in London. Tokyo and New York, New York in senior executive roles. And those roles included working in a strategic role within a corporation, working at, um, in corporate finance, so uh, stock market listings and uh, offerings, working in mergers and acquisitions in London and uh, Tokyo. And then finally, I worked in a uh, funds management and analyst role. So I've looked at corporations from a, a wide range of perspectives. I've worked in strategy, I've valued corporations, I've assessed corporations from a variety of perspectives. Okay, so we're going to sort of turn our attention over the next two or three videos to credit rules and regulation. Why is this such a big deal at the moment? It's very important because, of course, the... Um, underpinnings of many of the financial crises that have occurred historically have been driven by the provision of credit, and in particular, the provision of inappropriate or irresponsible credit. That's a major issue that's been um, dealt with uh, in the Royal Commission hearings here in Australia, but it's also a major issue uh, that was highlighted in the wake of the global financial crisis and indeed in other financial crises that have happened. And I guess it's fair to say that we've got another debt bubble going on at the moment. So effectively, what's happened over the last 10 years or so is that we've actually seen significant growth in credit and potentially we've got some questions about the quality of that credit and the way that credit was lent and the implications of that going forward. Yeah, it's almost as if um, not much has been, has been learnt um, from the GFC. The lessons supposedly were about... Uh, bubbles that were created through the provision of credit and yet we've seen massive amounts of credit since then um, here in Australia but elsewhere so we have credit bubbles that have arisen internationally and here in Australia. Okay so we've got a bit of a plan in fact we're going to talk over perhaps two or three videos um, about around this subject and we're going to try and bring a bit of a legal um, perspective to bear because the legal structure around this is so critical. Let's just outline for the people who are watching the, the sort of the approach we're going to take. So what's the structure of these videos that we're going to um, uh, talk about? So the first video will look at the international context and the second, third and fourth videos will, will come back to Australia and look at the rules. In particular in the first one we'll look at the responsible lending rules in the second one, we'll look at the rules around financial advice. And then the final video, will look at the differences between the regulatory structures around credit assistance and financial advice. Great. Okay. And 
just thinking about who this video is for, um, it seems to me that whilst we're going to have some legal content to it, we should say this isn't financial advice or legal advice or any of that stuff. Right? No. But what we're trying to do here is to bring out some of the key themes and some of the key issues and hopefully it will be useful to those in the industry and those perhaps who actually have you know financial service products themselves. Yeah that's right I mean my background is um, as a practitioner and so therefore I'm hoping to provide not detailed legal or financial advice uh, or dis I won't be discussing the provisions in a huge amount of detail. It's really providing an overview for people just to understand what the main issues are and how they're connected to the regulation. Okay, and we know that this at the moment is a really big deal. Look at the Westpac thing that happened recently. That's right. So we've had the Royal Commission. We've also had responsible lending cases, in particular against AMZ earlier this year and then against Westpac. Uh, well, the action against Westpac has been happening for a while, but we had resolution in terms of a settlement yesterday. So these issues are highly topical and relevant both here in Australia and internationally. Great, okay. Well, Jill, thank you very much. That sounds very interesting. I think our viewers will find the whole series very illuminating. I look forward to working with you on the next one. So there you are. Over the next few days, expect more videos on credit and the legislation around credit. This is a really important series, so check back and see the next one. I'm Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. Many thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.